Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be finally creating a first web application using Streamlit. So this would be a very basic and simple application which would be experience versus salary. So over here we will be using the components such as adding an image, then showing data using tables, then having interactive and non-interactive plots, then filtering data based on the slider. Then uh, over here we have used the navigation bar so on prediction we will be having an input and using this we would be predicting the salary of the person then over here the third section would be a contribute to data set so you can even contribute to the data set so let's say if i enter uh, let's say 1.1 and the salary be around 20k and if i click on submit so it says submitted to show you it's really submitted. I'll just go to salary data. So over here, you see we had entered this. So we get this. So this code just requires about 70 to 80 lines. So let me just see. Yeah. So it's about 80 lines and using these 80 lines, we can create a, such a web application. So let's get started. So I have added a app.py file to my project folder and we'll start by importing streamlit as st. Then I'll import pandas as pt and we'll import rest, uh, rest of the libraries when required. So I'll first of all add st.title to our web application and say salary predictor and save this and we will start by creating a navigation bar so i'll be using radio buttons for my navigation so i'll I say st dot sidebar dot radio yeah. so options would be home then there would be prediction I hope I have spelled that correctly and then contribute. So I'll save this in a variable. So I'll say nav nav is equal to this. So if nav is equal to home, then we will do something. For now, I'll just say pass. Or I'll just write st dot write and say home. Then if we if nav is equal to prediction, then we'll write st dot write and say um bread. And lastly, if nav is equal to a contribute, I'll say st dot write and I'll say country. So if I save this and run, so before running this, I'll activate my virtual environment. So yeah, we have virtual. So streamlet run and app.py so okay so this will open our application so as you can see we we have this salary predictor okay so i haven't passed the name of this radio button so i'll just say over here uh navigation and save this i should just yeah so over here you see home prediction and contribute so now we will just try to add contents to our different pages so i'll start by adding the image to our uh, home page so i'll say st dot image 
and then I have a image in the data and it is named as sal.jpg so I'll say data double slash and what it was sal.jpg oh sorry jpg and I'll save this so if I go over here and on home so you see we have this image so we can resize this image so let's say uh, I would say width is equal to 500 that should be enough um it's too small so I'll just say about eight yeah that's fine I guess so we have added the image now we will just add an option to display our data in a form of table so I'll add a checkbox so if I'll say if st dot checkbox and say show table so if this checkbox is selected then we will show our data so i'll use st.table to show my data so we first need to import our data so i'll say data is equal to pd.readcsv and the data is in uh, salary underscore data csv and save this and over here i'll add this data pass this data so if i save this and go over here and click on show table you can see we can see our data so next we will add some plots so over here we can have two kinds of plots so i'll say interactive and non-interactive and i'll be using st.select box and say what kind of graph and then pass non-interactive and, and interactive inter oh i've missed interactive i guess that's the correct spelling and then i need to store it so i'll say graph is equal to this so if graph is equal to and i'll just correct this non-interactive then we will do something i'll say just pass over here and if graph is equal to interactive then we'll do something so for non-interactive graph i will be using matplotlib so from matplotlib import pi plot yes it's plot as plt and i'll save this and okay it's yes and for interactive plots i'll be using plotly so from plotly import graph objs as go so i'll save this and for non-interactive plot so i'll first define the uh, size of the figure that i want so i'll say plt dot figure and then i'll pass fig size equal to i'll say 15 or i'll say 10 comma 5 that should be good enough then i'll plot a scatter plot so i'll say plt dot scatter and then pass data then on the x-axis i want to have number of years so years experience and on the y-axis i want the salary so i'll say data salary and save this 
So this will plot my data. Then some other things that I want is that my while limits should start from zero. Then on plt dot x label, I'll say um years of experience guess and then plt dot by label would be salary yes and save this so now i want a tight layout so i'll say tight layout and finally i'll plot this using st by plot and save this and make sure that it's working so if i go to this no module named plotly so i need to import it so i will just stop my server and say uh, pip install plotly and let's say yeah it isn't installed downloaded on my file so by that time we'll just uh, initiate our work for the interactive plot so first i'll define a layout so layout is um I'll go dot layout and then there's an x axis would be um dictionary of range and this range would be the uh, x axis so 0 to 16 is what i want then for similarly y axis and range be zero to I'll say twenty one. This should be enough. And then I'll say fig. Oops, fig is equal to go dot figure. And data is equal to go dot scatter plot again. So in this, we would say x is equal to data. And again, it's years of experience. So let's say years experience. And then we want y to be uh, data that would be salary and the mode is the marker that I will be defining marker and finally a layout so I'll just get it over here layout is equal to layout so that should be enough I guess and then I'll just finally plot this so plt dot oh sorry st dot plotly chart and I'll pass this figure and save this so so our plotly library is now installed and just a small change over here this should be a capital L and our server is running so if i go to this and select a non-interactive plot you see this map uh, pie plot that we get and then in an interactive plot this is the plot that we have plotted using the plotly lab library so we will be adding a slider to filter out the number of years so just before or maybe just after the graph I'll just say um, I'll select val is equal to st dot slider 
and then filter data using use and then the start would be zero ending would be i'll say 20 i'll save this and see if we get a slider over here yeah so we get the slider but it is not working right now so so to make this work what we will do is we'll modify the data over here so i'll just say data is equal to data dot look for data where data and years experience is greater than equal to the val so if i save this now this should be working so let's see i put it over here so you see the value of the uh, x-axis is changing now so it is showing only the data with uh, years of experience with nine or greater so if i do a 19 this should be empty since there is no data point in the range of 16 to 20 as far as i remember yeah so similarly this should be working for the interactive plot as well so yeah over here you can see only the 15 and now yeah so we have added a filter over here and we have also made an interactive and non-interactive part to our uh, plots so next we will be working on the prediction so in the prediction what we have done is so we would be adding a, a this integer box and taking numbers as input and then we would be predicting the salary so if i go to the predict section so in the prediction page would be requiring a number input so i'll say uh, first of all i'll just add a header st dot header and say know your salary and then i'll be adding a number input so i'll say val is equal to st dot um it is number input here and i'll say enter your exp and then uh, the ranges should be 0 0.00 to 20.00 then step size i'll keep it as 0 0.25 and i'll save this so next we would be requiring a machine learning model so for that i'll be using linear regression so for that i'll be importing it as um, from sklearn learn import uh wait sk learn dot linear model import uh linear regression and save this also i'll be requiring numpy so i'll input numpy as entry and save this so i'll be creating my ml model here itself so i'll just initialize it as lr is equal to linear regression then i have to fit this so before i fit this i need to make sure that our x value is in proper shape since we have only one uh, training variable so i'll say np dot array and uh, data then the uh, x label so it would be years experience and i'll reshape it as reshape as minus one comma one then I have already initialized linear regression model and then all we need to do is fit it so i'll say lr dot fit and it would be x comma np array 
of data and then we need to say salary so this would be enough to train our model so if i come down over here so even over here we need to reshape this value so i'll just say val is equal to np dot oh np dot array and then i'll pass this val and i would reshape it to one comma minus one saving this then need to predict so i'll say predict is equal to lr dot predict and ex this would return a list so i'll just select the zeroth element and then if uh, then i'll add a button so whenever we click that button we would get the result so i'll say if st dot button and i'll say predict so whenever this is uh, clicked, I'll I'll just print st dot success, and in that success, I'll just use f strings over here. So I'll say your predicted salary is, and then I'll use round and bread. So let's see if this is working or not. So, so our application is now deployed. So if I go to predictions and enter two over here and click on predict, you see we get the predicted salary. So now we would be creating our contribute page. So in our contribute page, we would be requiring two inputs and that would be the uh, years of experience and salary and that would be yearly. So going back to our code, so over here, I'll first just write st.header and say contribute to our data set, save this and then be taking two inputs one would be experience and the other one would be the salary so for experience i'll say st dot number input and i'll say enter your experience and then this i would limit it to 0 to 20 and similarly for salary i'll say st dot number input and i'll say enter your salary and again i'll restrict it from zero to let's say um, about a million should be fine and then step should be equal to 1k if I save this and go to my application and click on always rerun. So it says either it should be all float and that. So I'll just add 0 .00, 0 0.00, in fact 0, 0.0 is enough, 0 .0, 0, 0.0 and save this. So yeah. So now you can enter your experience and your salary over here. So the next thing is we want a submit button and that should append it to our uh, CSV data file. So if I go over here and say if uh, st dot button and I'll say submit. So I'll define a dictionary and say to add is equal to and uh, it would be years experience and then that would be equal to ex then for salary 
I would say sal and save this then I'll convert this to a data frame there must be another way to do this like to add it to a CSV so you're free to use any method that you like I just feel this is much more easier to do so I'll just say add and now I have converted this to a data frame now to add dot to csv and I'll just add it to salary uh, data dot csv but that's in our data directory so data and then the mode should be appended so I'll just say mode is equal to a I don't want the headers so I'll just say header is false and finally I don't want the index so index is equal to false save this and once this has been done I'll just want to show a message of success that it has been added so I'll just say success and submitted and this should be it so if I now go to my application and if I enter 9 over here and I'll just say 18,000 and submit it it says submitted so let's just see if it has really been submitted to our data file so yes over here you see we have submitted our data successfully so that would be it for this video and we have created our first web application using streamlit so we have added the functionalities such as interactive and non-interactive plots showing table adding images to our uh, streamlit app then using the slider as filter then we have also created a navigation bar added a machine learning model and then finally a way to contribute to the data set so you can improve this app by adding more functionalities and using a better data set and algorithm for ml model you can create a proper dashboard instead of just using a single graph that we did also instead of training the model inside the app i would recommend that you train it separately and just load the train model and use it so you can find all the data and images and also the code used in this app in my github repository i will put the link in the description box so yeah that's it i hope this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed making this application please do like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel thank you